the topic, the topic for today's discussion is Comtrade files and how to replay them using ISA's DRTS64 and the software TDMS used to control the said test set. So for that we're going to open the application playback waveform which we have here and the first thing we're going to do is to open the comtrade file. So open a file, I have one comtrade file here it's called demo, it's from our relay and what we are going to do first is to fill in these fields so let's start with this to explain what this means is we are asking you what do you want to reproduce on output V1 on the RTS and in our comtrade file voltage 1 is called Vred so I'm going to reproduce Vred on v V2 I'm going to reproduce V yellow and on V3 I'm going to reproduce V blue on V4 I can reproduce V neutral if necessary and here I can also see what are the ratios for these elements for these uh, excuse me voltages so 132 kV to 100 volts face to face the next step uh, of course these colors will represent those uh, the, uh, those currents when we finally open that file in the next tab, we are doing the same thing, but not with voltage with currents. What do you want to be reproduced on current output 1? That would be I red, on current 2, I yellow, and on current 3, I blue. On current 4, we can, for example, reproduce I neutral. Again, we see here the ratios, which are red from the comtrade file and the colors. The next tab is asking me which contacts on the DRTS we want to activate to see the trip. In my case I just need C1 which is normally open contact and we can call it trip and then we move on to digital signals which are read from our comtrade file. In my case I will I want to see the digital signals first main trip, first main send first main receive because this relay actually received a teleprotection uh, signal which then tripped the relay. If you wanted to reproduce these signals, these digital signals, you could by clicking this and by saying on which binary output you would like to reproduce these signals. I'm not going to do that right now so I'm going to remove this stick. The next tab settings is where you should set up your contact so whether is it dry or wet and what is the threshold and these settings should be used only if you are doing a special type of testing using a low power mode um, and also I'm sorry this is for zero power mode you can here also limit or extend your file how long will it be reproduced. In also instrument synchronization can be done through GPS so when the DRTS would, rece would receive a signal from GPS then that's when the reproduction of the comtrade file would start. For now we're not using that. Uh, we could switch on the DC but I already have it on so I'm not going to touch this and if we wanted to have a prefold we could put in some values here but I don't need to have a prefold here so what I'm going to press is OK and I'm going to get this here well this what we can see are voltages voltage 1, 2 and 3 and as I scroll back scroll down voltage 4 which is the neutral and then we also see currents 1, 2, 3 and the neutral current and in the bottom we see the digital signals. So what can we conclude by looking at these voltages and currents? We can say that obviously this relay which was which is actually a distance relay had a fault on phase 3 and that can be seen also with by observing currents 
So current 1, 2 and 3, they all seem to be jumping very high, but in all honesty, this maximum value is less than 10. This is around maybe 10, and this is more than 24. So obviously the fault happened in phase 3. Now, before I connect to the RTS, I would like to show you one very interesting feature of this application, and that's by pressing the display the impedance locus plots, this will appear. So the first thing I want to do is to press refresh plot. When I do that, I get this chaos, which you can see, which are actually impedances. These are face-to-face -face impedances, and these are face-to-ground impedances. Since I know that my fault was face-to-ground, I don't want to use these, and since I know that my fault was on phase 3, I'm going to use this fault, uh, the impedance of phase 3. Now, I'm missing one thing here, and that's the characteristic, my real file. So I'm going to open this, I'm going to go to desktop, and I'm going to open Protecta Rio files. And that would be this one. So as I do that, what I see is that this comes into my zone, and that's why the relay tripped. So this is a nice help for you if you want to be sure why the relay tripped. Also, if you click this, you will see what are the positions as... So what you need to observe is, first of all, this point here, which, which is I3, and as I move, you can see what is the current. And obviously, the biggest current is here inside, when we went into the zone for tripping. So it's a graphical tool which helps you understand what happened. Also, I'm going to close it now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the RTS64. We are connected now, and the next step will be download waveforms on instrument. When I click that, this will be downloaded to the DRTS from the computer. It might take a few seconds. And when this is done, you can see this specific form of cursor with these bubbles means that the DRTS is receiving the contrade file. And now we say download completed. We see download completed. And what we can do is simply press start generation. Now, before we do that, let me go down and say this is this line, the red line, is the line of where we will see the trip. So the point here is that we want to see trip happening at the same time when these signals were received. And that's why I'm going to press start now and I'm going to expect the relay to have a trip. You observe this line and see if something will change here. So let's go, start generation. And the relay tripped. We see that this line came here. Now with the left mouse button, I can position myself here. With the right mouse button, I can position the other cursor here. And I can see here what is the difference in time. That's 12 milliseconds. So it took us 12 milliseconds from the point where we received the teleprotection signal until the moment, or extension zone signal, until the moment, no, sorry, in this case was actually teleprotection signal, it was a direct opening of the circuit breaker, and it took us 12, it took the relay 12 milliseconds to react, which is a pretty good result. So, just to repeat, this is, this is our curve, our, um, our comtrade file, and here you can do many things, actually, apart from what I've shown you before, you can also edit certain um, signals. You can scale it. For example, if I scale signal of voltage 1 by the factor of 10, we can see that these voltages will be up to 
200 and these voltages will be up to 2000 if I want to decrease it then I have to scale it by 0 0.1 and now we have again the same values here and here or I can add a DC component an offset so to make it more obvious I'm going to add an offset of 150 for example on voltage 1 and now we see that we actually with this DC offset the curve the, the waveform is much different than before what we also can do we can cut and paste some signals so if I say copy click OK and then move the cursors somewhere else and if I say paste then a certain signal will be copied and paste here so you can repeat a few of them if you want to repeat a few tests you can zoom in you can of course zoom out and here you might also change some things which you read from the contrade file if you need that to happen or if you need to replay some digital signals so that's all from me regarding the playback waveform and the changing of uh, and the reproduction of Comtrade files thank you for watching be sure to su subscribe if you like the video and if you have a comment please leave it in a section below thank you and safe testing as always